Hello friends, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here in this session we will see some of the important MCQs from the programming in C, right? So basically if you are preparing for any CSIT exams, GATE, TRB, PG, UGC, NET, RRB, JE, LIC, AAO, IT or IT officers or KBS or NBS or for, for any PGT, CS or any placement specific or for any CSIT interview then this video will help you a lot because here we will clear you with the important concepts of programming in C which will help you in each and every aspect of computer science and information technology area right so let's start the very first question here is uh, main function is given to us then printf3 printf statement is given to us and we have to predict that what is the output of this so basically it is very interesting question and let's solve this so basically first printf is there and double slash n is there right so basically on new line ok will get printed now this will print ok now after the, uh, it will execute it, second statement will execute and here this will backspace 1 so the latest cursor is here and it will backspace 1 position so k will remove so only o is left with us and it will print we as it is so the output after the execution of second statement is oa o w e now after execution of third statement that is line feedback line feed you can say that it line feed so your cursor currently after second statements execution is here so this r will place this uh, cursor here in front and it will overlap the be with here two keyword here two characters are there so it will uh, overlap first two characters so o and w will get replaced by b E and this E will remain as it is but if here three or four more words will be there then it will replace uh, four or three or four words respectively right but here only two characters are there so it replaces only first two characters respectively so the execution of the statement or output after the execution of third statement is B double E so option D is the right answer so I hope it is clear to you the next question is uh, again int main function is given to us and external int integer i i is declared 20 and print uh, print percent d size of i and return d so basically we have to find what is the output of that right so basically here extern int i is given to us so basically this extern will uh, indicate to the execution of the program at the runtime that uh, some external library or some external uh, header file is there from which you have to take value of i but here in the program no extra header file is given to us that is why undefined reference to i will be got printed because extern due to this extern keyword the execution at the time of runtime compiled at the time of our uh, program execution at, or you can say that at runtime uh, the error will show that undefined reference to i because it will indicate some external header file from which we have to took the value of uh, i but here as it is not any kind of a header file is given to us right so option c is the right answer the next question is standard ansi recognizes how many keywords so basically it is very basic question of the programming in c theory and you must know about it so the standard ansi that is Amer american national standard institute so it recognizes 32 keywords right so according to standard ansi 32 keywords are there in c language right so i hope it is clear to you now the next question is what should be the output of that so void main is given to us then integer a is equals to 10 divided by 3 print f percent d a so what it will got printed so basically if you will calculate here 10 by 3 it is in the form of integer divided by integer because here integer a is assigned with this value so instead of printing 3.33 it will print only 3 why because here integer is assigned to this variable that is why option c is the right answer now the next question is what will be the output of the following c code so here 
this code is given to us include hash include preprocessor studio.h is given to us in main and then float x is assigned the value of a so float a is assigned value of a now print a percent of x so basically x will take the value of a and the ascii value of a which will be assigned to float is basically ascii value of small a is 97 but as it is assigned in float so original value that is 97 point and after that six zeros will be there it will assign to this x and as x is assigned the variable as a type data type integer as a float so 97 point zero 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 so option d would be the output of that program now the next question is for c programming language uh, for option is given to us and we have to find which of the these are correct constant expressions are evaluated at compile time so it is a true statement because constant expressions are evaluated at compile time in c programming language right so it is true a string constants can be concatenated at compile time so statement b is also true because in c language a string constant can be concatenated as compile at compile time basically we are uh, taking this statement on the uh, c programming language right so we are talking only in the reference of c programming language here right and option c is size of array should be known at compile time so it is also a true statement because whenever we'll declare the array size so it should be known at the compile time right so all of this is the correct answer so option d is the most right answer for this question now the next question is what do you mean by int ptr10 so in here data type is assigned as integer and pointer is there and then array of 10 so basically ptr here is a pointer to an array right so ptr is pointer to an array of 10 integers so ptr is an array ptr is not an array ptr is a pointer to an array of 10 integers so option b is the right answer the next question is hash include studio dot h define a square i is to i so a square function is defined here then main printf percent d percent then square 5 and square 5 plus 1 so you have to solve this question very carefully because uh, here what many students basically answer they just answer i that the option a is the right but option a is not the right answer because what it will do first it will print the square of 5 as i into i because here only one will use there so 5 into 5 so the output of this is 25 but for square 5 plus 1 it will write it would be right like that 5 plus 1 into 5 plus 1 because i into i is assigned to here i into i now here i is assigned like 5 plus 1 so 5 plus 1 into 5 plus 1 now this 1 into 5 will be 5 then 5 plus 5 plus 1 so it will evaluate it as 11 and it will print here 25 and this will print here 11 so option b is the right answer now the next question is which programming language is more faster among this so basically if we talk about the uh, egg flow of execution from the uh, from the uh, programming languages so you can make a note of it because it is very important it, it can be asked right so basically first the execution of the binary language is very very greater we are talking about faster execution flow according to its execution flow then assembly language is there after binary language assembly language is there and after assembly language you can say that c language is there execution flow right we are talking about that binary language uh, execution flow is most uh, much greater means it is much faster than assembly language and assembly language is much faster than c C is much faster than C++, C++ is much faster than uh, you can say uh, C++ is much faster than Java, PHP and VB Visual Basic right. So it is the flow of execution of this programming language. So we have asked which of the following language is faster. So here only C is in the picture. So C is the most faster uh, programming language from these four options. 
so thank you so much guys have a nice day and uh, if you have any kind of queries or doubts you can comment to us and we will try to solve your queries and doubts as early as possible and guys please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon button also so that whenever we will upload new content in the form of either uh, current affairs gk latest job notifications or video lectures you will get instant notification from our site right so thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat